In today's video, fall decorating continues. Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you happen to join me last week when I kicked off my fall 2023 decorating series, starting here in our family room. I decorated the mantle and if you missed that video or would like to take a look just to see how all of this came together, I've linked it at the end of this one. So with the mantle done, now it's time to turn my attention to the rest of the room. I've got a blank slate and I'm looking forward to adding in layers and textures, lots of fall colors, hopefully to create a warm and inviting space for my family. We've also recently added something new which has added warmth and texture and just a really nice cozy factor to this room, so I can't wait for you to see that. So I'm going to spin the camera around and we'll get started. Before I break out the leaves, let me show you the change that I made really quickly. Consider this the before. We finally added back woven wood shades. We used to have them and then I retired them. Just didn't care for the style or color any longer. Let me show you what I found. Isn't it pretty? A nice neutral. I love the variation in color. There aren't any orange or red undertones and they are super easy to mount. It comes with the necessary hardware. You just mount the bracket to your window frame and there's a post that goes through that slat right there and then you just spin on the little wing nut that's provided. One more time, let's look at the before. And here's the after. What do you think? I have to say I love them. They have added back the warmth and texture that I feel like this space or our room is missing or was missing. And now that that's done, let's get back to decorating. Since we're over here, let's go ahead and start with the sofa table. I'll be bringing in lamps, fall stems, and candles. the lamps on each end and then balanced it height wise with this arrangement in the middle that I still need to mess with. I see some gaps but I just created it by adding fall stems and picks that I had on hand down into this planter which does anybody remember the southern living parties from years ago? That's where I found that. All right so then on each side added a candle. Now I know your eye tends to go up down up down up but for me it tends to work. Onto the sofa and love seat and accent chair. Look at these really pretty pillow covers I found. Love the colors, a classic plaid. You can never go wrong with that. They've got the brown, a little bit of black, ivory. They come in a pack of two and I will link them below. I also ordered a few of this pillow cover. Love that it has just one pumpkin right in the middle and the muted tones. I've linked this one down below as well. And because symmetry rules my world, I'm adding the same throw and pillows to this love seat and accent chair.
Over on our coffee table, I had added a piece of, it's like a remnant piece of wood that I had, but I went ahead and took it off. I may end up bringing it back, but for now, let's just add a few little accessories. Starting with this book. I found it at Goodwill. I love to get my books from Goodwill. Such great prices. And I try to find books that will suit my seasonal decor color-wise. Now I'm just gonna add a couple of candles and this little pumpkin embellishment. And then the only other thing I'm gonna add is this larger bowl. This was also a Goodwill find that I've just added leaves and various pumpkins in different colors, but it is layered on a wood plate. So I feel like I've added that wood factor in that ties in with the baskets, the woven blinds, and the wood elements that I added to the fireplace. When I slid this love seat over from the sunroom a couple of weeks ago, I have to admit, at first I wasn't crazy about it because I, I don't like looking at the back of a love seat or a sofa. I prefer if it can be buffered with a bench in front of it or a trunk or sofa table, etc. Well, I didn't have any of those on hand, but I do have another piece that I'm gonna try out. All right, what do we think? I do wish it was a little bit narrower, but the size is right for the love seat, love it seat width wise. I wish it wasn't encroaching into the kitchen like it is, see how it comes out further than the column. But if I push it in any further, it will, the love seat won't work with the sofa. So I think I can overlook that and make this work. Now to accessorize. First thing I'm gonna do is add this lantern. I have not touched this in years. Let's just ignore the dirt that's down in there. I really wanted to add a tall candle, battery operated one, but I don't have one. So what I'm gonna do is add this little glass one, candle holder, and then I'm gonna put some leaves in there. I'm gonna have to go back in and tweak this later. But just in the interest of time, so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to do, Add those there. And then this little candle. So see, it hides the candle holder and it elevates the candle just a little bit. And then to the middle, I'm gonna add this stand and wreath. I will mess with that later. And to the middle, I'll just nestle the pumpkin there. And then over here, let's add some books, a couple of candles, and I'm just gonna tuck in one little ball pick. I may go back and add some little pumpkins to the lantern, just so everything kind of ties together. This corner and the other one is looking mighty empty, so let's fix that. I love having a peg rack. I think it's just a fun way to display items, whether they're textiles like throws or even baskets. So I'm going to incorporate both over here. I know I need to find a plug for the uh, screws, so let's just pretend they are not there. First thing I'm gonna do is up above, I am mounting fall art. I've had these for a couple of years and I love them so much, I just keep bringing them back. It adds just the perfect little pop of color right there. And to the peg rack, I'm gonna hang a couple of throws. And this really pretty basket. I found this at Target a few years ago. They don't carry them anymore, but I've linked one that's similar down below in the description box. So I could leave it just like this and it would be really pretty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fall to it, these neutral bushes, and then just a couple of these picks. They match the ones I added to the mantle, so it just kind of ties it all together. 
And now I'm just repeating the process on the other side of the room. Let's do something with these empty shelves. I have a little fall ambiance playing. You can find that on YouTube. And if you're new here, I am slightly um, obsessed with symmetry. So what is on our right bookcases is usually over on the left. I may try to invert a couple of shelves where if I have a basket here, I'll do a basket on this shelf on the other side where it looks asymmetrical, it tricks my brain into thinking it's asymmetrical, but it still satisfies my need for symmetry. And speaking of baskets, if you join me for my fall haul a couple of weeks ago, I shared that we purchased a few of these from Ikea. I love their woven texture, the handles, the size, and I think that baskets are a great thing to add to your bookcase. They're a great filler, and it gives your eye a place to rest by just having one item on a shelf versus several. Now, I could leave it just like this, but I'm gonna fallify it. So all I did was add a fall bush, and then this is actually a garland that I cut in half, so I get more use out of it. But these pieces match what I have going on over on the mantle, so it just kind of pulls it all together. How about we add a few books? Once again, love getting them from Goodwill, great prices, and it's so easy to find books in colors that suit the season. And I'm gonna add a couple of pumpkins. And I feel like I can go neutral with my pumpkins since I have the color going on in the books. And since I have my pumpkins down here, diagonally above it, I'm gonna add this little topiary. This one's just resting on top of this one and I just tucked in the leaves to add a little bit of color. And then because I have my books down there, whoops, I'm going to bring in more books up here. So I have the diagonal method going on, which I'm a big fan of. And then on the top shelf, I'm adding the same basket filled with the same fall leaves and garland that I did on the bottom shelf just to pull it all together. Lastly, to this little forgotten corner, just gonna place a blanket ladder. That was a DIY project several years ago. And then I'm just gonna toss a couple of throws over it. This one matches the one that's on the chair by the fireplace. Okay, before we take a look around, I wanted to chat briefly about our rugs. I am a huge fan of layering rugs. I think it's just a cool way to add interest to your spaces, but I like to start with a neutral. I know a lot of people love sisal or jute. My luck has not been good with them. I don't like how they stain easily. I love seagrass. It's not very comfortable underfoot, but I've had this for so many years and it's very easy to clean. This rug is beautiful. I've linked it and the seagrass down below. Love the fall colors. It's just a perfect neutral for this time of year.
Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll be back next week to continue fall decorating as I'm just getting started. I hope you'll join me then, and I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week. Bye-bye.